Here's number two. You're starting to struggle to afford basic necessities. So, so, so this could be like, hey, I may not be living paycheck to paycheck per se, but I can't even I can't even afford to get groceries inside the house. I, 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 all the groceries that we need. Like I can't get all of the basic things that we need to survive in the house. And and this is where some people get upset with me because I, I, t I say this often. I'm like, man, for single people, if you can't afford basic necessities, you don't afford and need to be dating. If, if, if you can't afford to pay for your rent, if you can't afford to pay for um, your utilities, your light bill, your water bill, if you got to go every other month, pay the light bill today and then skip a month and then go pay it next month. Um, um, if you got to be the people, have y'all ever done this before? Let's, let's be real. Let, let, let's just be real. I don't know about y'all, but put it, put it in, the, uh, put in the comments, put, put me in the comments, just put me. And I know who's talking to me. Um, but when I was younger, I remember calling the cell phone company and asking them to extend, give me grace for 30 days before turning off my bill. I mean, turning off my phone. Have you, any, any of you all, any of you all, may not today because it's a different kind of generation today, but do y'all remember back in the 90s, well, the early, the late 90s and the early 2000s, you know, I used to call into, who was I with? I was actually with AT&T back then. And I would call an AT&T customer line and say, hey man, I came on struggling times. Can, can you give me a two week extended? I mean, just two weeks uh, to get the bill in. Then I'll call them back in the two weeks and like, hey, I don't have the full $150, but I can give you 60. Can, 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 can that buy me some more time? Well, give us 60. And what we'll do is we'll extend this. Have any of you all ever had to call into your light company, your mortgage company, your, your landlord and say, hey, listen, I don't have it all, but I have some. Can, can, can you give me some grace? Put, put me in the comments. If, if you're listening to this on podcast, just say me out loud. Just say me out loud uh, because I don't know about y'all, but I've been there to where the basic necessities I had to call. Now, one thing about it is I never played with my landlord at the time. Never played. He got his money and he got his money on time. Right. But I remember coming home one day in Fayetteville, North Carolina. My lights were off and I had the money, but I wasn't doing the right thing with it. And I didn't pay the light bill. Can I tell you what I did? I decided to go on a cruise with my girlfriend at the time. So I didn't pay any of my bills. Any of my necessities, I went over here. But if you are not in a position to where you can afford to pay for your basic necessities, that's a check financial engine light on. Check financial engine light on. We can't put groceries on the table. That's not normal. That's not okay. That's a check financial engine light on on. We can't pay our insurance bill. That's not normal. That's not okay. That's a check financial engine light on. I may not be able to pay my rent this month. That's not normal. That's not okay. So if you're at a point to where you're starting to struggle to afford basic necessities, that's a check financial engine light. Let me go deeper. I love your mama. Every time I say this, my mom says, that doesn't happen. That did not happen. I'm like, huh? It did. If you can't afford to buy your kids school clothes, if you can't afford to buy your kids shoe for school, that's a check financial engine light on. I remember going to school. And my mom remembers this story differently, and I only can explain it the way that I explain it. Maybe I'm maybe I should invite all of my parents in and be like, hey, let's have a conversation. This is what I remember. <laughs> Tell me why do I remember it this way? And y'all explained to me differently what was going on. But I remember going to school and I had to put black tape on the bottom of my shoes because we couldn't afford to get different kinds of shoes. We didn't have different options of shoes. Man, we had like one or two pair of, uh, of school shoes. We had one or two pair of church shoes. Then we had one or two pairs of 
t- technically, actually only one, one pair of just playing outside shoes. Like these are just outside. If you're going to play basketball, if you're going to do that, that's cool. Then when I started running track, yeah, my mom and dad bought me some cleats, but um, we didn't have a whole bunch of options like we have today in our closet. I got probably 40 pair of shoes, 50 pair of shoes in my closet right now for different outfits, for different colors, for, for different settings. Cool, great. Back then, no. And when, when, when your kids have holes in their shoes, that's a check financial engine light on it. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy AO here, and I'm super excited to share some incredible news with you. On January 22nd through the 26th, we're launching a transformative movement called Pray FYI, short for Pray for Your Increase. We're believing 2024 will be the year we eliminate debt and build wealth. So real quick, I want to give you a sneak peek into what's happening January 22nd through the 26th. I wanna encourage you to join myself and thousands of others in this week of prayer as we're diving into a series of powerful sessions, each focusing on a key aspect of financial well being. Join this movement by visiting prayfyi.com. You see, day one, we're focusing on debt reduction and financial stress. We'll be praying for wisdom to identify and eliminate unnecessary expenses, making room for your financial growth and stability. On day two, it's all about increase in salaries and business income. We'll come together and pray for guidance in pursuing career opportunities, promotions, and the skills needed to boost our income. Day three is all about increase in wealth and investment opportunities. Let's pray for discernment and wisdom. We need this in making sound financial decisions that lead to long-term, I mean long-term, I mean generational prosperity. On day four, we're tackling boosting multiple streams of income. Together, we'll pray for creativity and opportunities to diversify our income streams, creating financial abundance. And finally, on day five, enhancing legacy. Let's pray for discernment and wisdom in making some sound financial decisions that lead to long-term prosperity. I wanna personally invite you to join me on this journey of financial and spiritual growth. Listen, I honestly, I can't wait to see you there. Visit prayfyi.com to get started. I'll see you soon. Because you should never get to the point to where your kids have to wear shoes with holes in them. Now I get it. They come home, they, they go to school and one day they come home, they got holes in them. Cool, that's not a check financial engine like That's a, your kid did something, boom, great. But if you're at a point to where they come home and you're saying, hey, I got to tape them up. Hey, hey, we need to adapt and adjust on this one. That's a check financial engine light. If you got to go into, oh, man, I hate, I hate saying, I hate, I hate telling my family business. But I just believe it, 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 it helps. And, and I want to say this, man. I grew up with amazing parents. My mom sometimes feels as if she was an amazing mom because of the, some of the things that we say. But I want to go on record publicly and say, man, I wouldn't be where I am today without my parents, without my mom, without my without my mothers, and without my fathers. But as I've as I've grown, as I've evolved, I'm like, man, that wasn't normal. Maybe it was normal to 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 that culture, but just because it was normal doesn't mean it was okay. It was a check financial engine light. I remember one day my father went inside the kitchen because we were hungry, and my dad had to put something together for dinner. And all we had was milk, bread, and eggs. So what do you think my dad did for dinner? He made French toast and eggs. Now, don't get it twisted. I love me some French toast, and I can eat that any time. <laughs> but my father, because we had a check financial engine light on, we could barely afford certain things at that season in life to get all the proper groceries in place. And so we had to do French toast, eggs, and water for dinner. Now, because of the syrup and stuff like that, I mean, at that time, we were happy kids. We didn't know we were, we were, we were hurting. We didn't know that there was a financial engine light on for our family. We didn't know that. But as we got older, wait a minute. 
I see it. I see it. I see it.